Hello. In this short video, I will show you how to create a global and multi-cloud event mesh using Solis PubSub Plus event brokers. Firstly, a little background on who this event mesh is being created for. The fictional Acme Corp is an online retailer with customers globally. They mainly accept orders through three shopping channels. Firstly, the Acme website. Secondly, a mobile app. And lastly, customers can also place orders through their smart devices or digital assistants. Acme have applications and services deployed in multiple public clouds, such as AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Now, over to the demo. We begin at solace.com slash cloud so that I can log into my existing account, like so. The console now presents me with my existing services, such as this one running in AWS, supporting an earlier machine learning demo. For Acme, we will create a new service using this plus button here. Now I have a choice of service types to create. The main distinction being whether I am intending to use the service for simple development purposes or it should be ready for live production workloads through an enterprise plan. I'll select an enterprise plan here. Next, I have some helpful sliders to allow me to pick the right size to meet my requirements. Say, for example, if I had an expectation of 50,000 connections to come into this event broker from my various microservices, I could slide this, slide this all the way to the end here. For now, the 1,000 connection size is good enough for me. Then I can select the cloud provider to create this new event broker in. Acme support their European business through um, AWS in Ireland. So we'll match that to create the event broker there. And we can give it a helpful name to identify it later. If I click Start Service, this will now go on to provision the necessary IaaS within AWS to then bring up the event broker. While that's happening, we can go back and create the event brokers for North America and Asia. Just as before with the event broker for Europe, we'll create an enterprise plan at the 1000 connection tier and Acme support their North American customers from Google Cloud Platform and the Iowa region. We create that service and now this time the IaaS is being set up using the Google Cloud native APIs for managing cloud resources. And lastly, the event broker for Asia that runs in Azure in Singapore. To recap, we, we now have three new services or event brokers running in Solid Cloud for Acme Corp. Europe, North America and Asia across AWS, GCP and Azure. The final step is to create an event mesh that connects these independent event brokers together so that data and events can flow across them. We do this by moving into the event mesh view here, entering a name for this new event mesh, and then selecting the services available to me to join the mesh. So we know what, there was one created in Ireland. There we are, Acme Europe. And then we know there's one created in Iowa under GCP, Acme North America. And lastly, there is 
a service in Azure Singapore, Acme Asia. So we have the three selected, three event brokers. Now we go on to create the mesh. As you can see, they are now connected and ready to pass data and events between them. To test the event mesh, we can go back into the list view and select one of our event brokers to connect to, such as Acme Europe here. From a developer perspective, the connect tab gives you everything that you need to connect to this event broker. This view is either arranged by the language that you're developing in or the protocol that you wish to connect to the event broker with. If you take the example of connecting via MQTT and the Java client from Eclipse, you get a three-step process in terms of how to connect. First of all, how do you get the API? So what, what should you drop into your Gradle or Maven files? Step two, how do you connect? So the details on the right that you see here, such as the username and password and the URLs to connect to, have been put into a helpful extract here to drop straight into your ID. The last step is links to tutorials to help you learn more on how to make best use of this event broker and help you in your developer journey. If you haven't got an application ready to go, the Try Me tab has some helpful code pens embedded, making use of the WebSockets API to connect to the event broker. This is what we'll use to test the event mesh. Now that the event mesh has been created, we can go on to test the connectivity by passing some sample orders across the mesh. We will also simulate the three channels available to Acme customers. By using the WebSocket protocol, we will connect to the event broker in Europe to represent the website channel. By using the REST protocol, we will connect to the event broker in North America to represent the mobile app. And lastly, using the MQTT protocol, we will connect to the event broker in Asia to represent the smart devices. The order itself will be formatted as a JSON document. The first thing I'll do with the code pens is connect the publisher and subscriber like so and then from the publisher side I have an example JSON ready to go which has the customer ID an item ID and the quantity of the order now I need to select a topic here in solid pop sub plus the topic is dynamically created on message or event send so we'll represent this with say orders from the UK market the website channel and perhaps the groceries subsection of the website as well and before I send that let me have my subscriber ready so we know this subscriber is ready to process any orders regardless of channel so let's give it a wide wildcard subscription such as orders slash greater than and then as soon as I publish this message it arrives in the subscriber, the full JSON exactly as published, ready for processing. Now, of course, this publisher and subscriber are connected to the same event broker, so not too interesting a test. So what we can do is if, if I go back to the event mesh view, go to the Iowa broker and in, enter that service, I can use the similar Try Me tab to connect the subscriber connected to that event broker. And if I do orders slash greater than ready to receive, this is in Acme North America. Going back to the Acme Europe broker, if I send a message again, we see the second message here in Europe and also at the same time that's arrived in the US event broker. For the next sample order, I will use the Postman client and the REST protocol to send a message to the Acme North America broker. I'll go into the Connect tab to expand out the REST section to copy out the relevant details for Postman, such as the username and password. in the authorization section as well as the 
URL to post to and at the end of this URL I will add the topic where the message should arrive so orders slash US market mobile channel and let's say the electronics subsection in the body I have a JSON ready to go and if I hit send that's been sent if I go back into the Acme Europe broker we can see that this has arrived the JSON as sent and on the US mobile electronics topic going into the North America broker that was previously subscribed to order slash greater than also we see the same message available for the last sample order I will use the Eclipse Paho JavaScript client as hosted on this website here to send a message from the Azure Asia event broker and using the MQTT protocol going back to the event mesh view I will enter the Acme Asia event broker like so I will go into the try me tab to set up a subscriber for us so connecting first and then in this case this subscriber is um, looking to consume from any market but specifically to the IOT channel with a wildcard subscription like so into the connect tab I look at the MQTT section and likewise copy the username and password to be able to connect to the MQTT client here that successfully connected scroll down to publish a message on orders slash Singapore market slash IOT channel and for the JSON message I have a different example here where there's a customer ID and a device ID but not a item ID like before but just an item description this represents the examples such as a customer asking for get more milk and the device sending the request for further processing such that the context can be added to what does the customer mean when they ask for more milk maybe their previous shopping history can shed a clue in terms of which product is required so if I publish that message go back into the try me tab for Asia I see this message has arrived on the specific orders star IOT topic and here we are the item has been requested milk and this consumer in theory can look up what is required for this request find the item ID and then perhaps create a new message for processing by a existing order processor to wrap up I'd like to point you to two additional links that are very useful first being the manage service button here that drops you straight into the event brokers um, web manager so that you can view configuration and make changes such as adding queues um, more usernames changing access, access control lists and so on and the final one is the learn link at the top of the page here which takes you to the learning center for solids cloud for a lot more helpful how to's and tutorials that's the end of the demo thank you for watching hope you found it useful if you have any questions or comments you can find me at solids.community